All right, welcome to Google Cast for Education. Uh, this was just launched roughly uh, toward the end of June of 2016. And so uh, I'm a little late in the game in jumping in on this, but uh, not all my Chromebooks were updating. Do you have to be on version 52 in order to be able to uh, utilize Google Cast for Education? So I'm going to talk about what it does. I have two devices here. I have the teacher device here and I have a student device here. The student device, you don't have to do anything special. It's already ready to go to work with this. The teachers will need to go to the Chrome Web Store, search Google Cast for Education, and then download the app. And the button would be blue if I needed to install the app, but it's green right now because I already have it. So really to make good use of this, what I would do is I would search for it in your launcher and I would find it in all of your apps, or you could just search it here if it's not appearing down here. So if I type in Google Cast, it appears. And then what I would do is I would two finger click on it, or that's the same as a right click, and I would pin it to the shelf down here. So I'll show you how that works. If I, that just disappeared. If I right click on it or two finger click on it, it'll pin it again and then it appears, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and launch this because here's what it does for students. It allows you to add students that are already in your Google Classroom to be able to cast their screen to your Chromebook or PC. So you have to install it. And then whatever device is plugged into a projector or a TV, the students can cast directly to it. So I'll show you how it works. Okay, when you first launch it, you may have to go to the settings. You'll have to get your receiver name and save it and register it. Um, and so that's one of the first steps you'll need to do. The next step you'll need to do is you'll need to set up who can actually access your screen. So right now I have this classroom set up. So when you go down here, you can actually select what Google Classroom you want to have access and it's set that teachers can present and students can request automatically. But you can put individual names in here. So if I put in my fake student here, and I'm gonna set it that they can request. You can give them instant present access. I'm gonna add that person, and then I'm gonna hit save. Okay, now we're all set to go. So I'm gonna move over here to my student device. So what I can do is on Google Slides, I can hit the down arrow here, and if the teacher has the Google Cast for Education running, it'll say present on another screen. When I select that, it'll come up with a screen like this, and it'll find any Chromecast in reach, and I can select the Chromecast, or I should say the Chrome OS device. And over here on the teacher machine, it'll pop up and it'll say that there's a guest cast request and I can accept it. When I accept it, it'll make my Chromebook, my teacher Chromebook or my teacher PC, go full screen, and it'll set the student in presenter view so the student can do their presentation they can hit the presenter view button and this allows them to control their slides from here so if they have speaker notes they can actually see their speaker notes on their device and then switch slides and control it completely from their own chromebook and see the presenter notes at the exact same time. This also allows them to do the audience tools, which I'll include the link on how to do the audience tools in this video. So when I hit start new, it'll actually pop up and give the audience tools link so that way people can participate, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of the presenter view. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this presentation. And then what happens is when you get out of the presentation, it actually automatically quits on the Google Cast for Education. So now another option is to present my entire screen. Let's say I go to a website and I want to cast this screen. So on a slides presentation, it's built in right here. On another website, if I wanna cast what's happening on another screen, I can do a two finger click, or if you're using a mouse, it's a right click, and I hit cast. When I do that, it'll find any Chromebooks or PCs or Macs using the Google Cast for Education. And it's gonna cast my screen over to the teacher machine. I hit accept. And 
And now the student can cast their screen directly to the teacher's device that would be plugged into a TV or a projector. Okay, so this allows them to present something that's happening on their screen. Now, some other options. Let me disconnect here. So the teacher, what they can do is they can just hit this X and it closes the session just like that. Another option is for the student when they hit the cast button. And that was just the tab. You can also cast your entire desktop. So if the student does cast desktop and hit Yoder Chromebook and hit yes, then they'll receive the accept option. And the student can then switch tabs so that they can switch between screens very quickly. And that is Google Cast for Education.